Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are still staring at the mean sea level pressure. Scary cloud face doom. But don't be scared. Be prepared. Know that we have our major volcano in Alaska here that has been erupting for about 14 months. And know that we're pretty sure we have volcanoes that have been erupting for a month or two off the coast of California. These do look like plumes. Have some type of smoke, moisture, steam that's rising, rising. Anyway, so I'm bringing you this update because, as I said last night before I went to bed for a couple hours, that the earth was a rocking. And if the earth is rocking, you don't necessarily have to come in and knock in. It's best to be awake and aware. So we've had a 5.8 earthquake just off the coast in California, west of Ferndale. Um, 5.1 kilometers deep, that makes it shallow. So that is fascinating, because as we like to believe, that pressure transfers across the world in the globe. And so we knew that after the 8 earthquake, we're going to see some more major activity transferring. So let's hope that this is the transfer quake. And that's the biggest one that California is going to get. But things are weird. And look, that's a lot of activity. I mean, those are some pretty big numbers. <clears throat> those are like fives and fours and sixes. And so you know, it's best to just stay aware of the situation. How weird is it, you might ask? And I'm glad you asked that. So I'm going to do what I can to tell you how weird it is. I'm trying to get up in your face, but then it screws my audio. I'm still new at this whole face in your face thing. All right. <clears throat> Over at spaceweather.com. Hey, guess what? The auroras ignore space weather forecast. Last night's space weather forecast called for quiet conditions around the Arctic Circle. But that didn't happen. Is it because of Nibiru, Planet X, Tiamat, Wormwood? Herculubus, do, do, do the Herculubus, Herculubus, do, do the Herculubus. This is doom. It's not funny. Wait, it's not doom. It's just weird. There was a scant 10% chance of geomagnetic storms last night. Nevertheless, Marcus Varik looked up from Tromsø, Norway, on January 25th, and this is what he saw. A giant alien squid coming to latch onto his face and drop eggs in his throat. That's disgusting. I woke up to people having conversations about bug dicks on Twitter, and now this? What is this show becoming? Maybe the doom's getting to me. Anyway, so I'm just saying, yeah. So in the magnetic field, in the magnetosphere, it's freaking out. Hey, what do you know? The earthquakes are freaking out, too. And so, yeah, that wasn't supposed to be a big aurora, but yeah, that is a giant aurora, which is weird because um, the coronal hole has passed. And as I said, there was no forecast for major aurora. But as I say, the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird. So, there's a prime indication that the sun has been acting a little bit goofy, or just strange, weird. You know, um, I'm trying to buy time. Did I mention I might go see Pluto Killer Mike Brown tonight at Texas A&M? Hear him talk about Planet Nine? I'm kind of excited, you know. So if you if I take a picture with him, don't you'll freak out, you know? Okay, sweet. I technically like and respect the guy. He found Eris in Sedna, and he's a bit much of a independent maverick so he's not ever connected with nasa he's always mike brown granted he used to say oh my god y'all eris is giant huge he doesn't say that as much anymore like if you go back to his read his old writings he would say stuff like i guarantee you eris is much much bigger than pluto and i believe him we'll get into the cat hair of doom later now let's wait is it just me the white screen has this piece of shit laptop 
goes real, real slow. All right, there's a buddy the sun. We love the sun. Sun gives us light, warmth, eerie day. And it helps create such a cool sky we've seen lately. So let's take, just take one little look. Look, see? A looky loo at the sun. <clears throat> So there is a giant coronal hole. There's almost the whole diameter of the sun. That's why the other night I was like, hey, I bet we see earthquake and volcano activity. And we did. I don't know what would cause the aurora today. But either way, these are crazy. Whoa! The sun just totally spun around, man. The sun's on drugs. I mean, nobody spins around unless they're on drugs. Or drunk. What if the sun is drunk on drugs and eating Tide Pods? I'm sure they're going to say it's like, oh, they were just recalibrating it. Well, why you gotta, why you gotta spin a camera around to recalibrate it? Probably because of GPS stuff or something. All right, so yeah, sun's spinning around. That was unexpected, but. That's why I say be prepared. Be ready for anything. This is 2018. It's all on the table. All dimensions. All timelines. You got demons, superheroes, old souls, good guys, bad guys. Everybody's here for 2018 to duke it out in the great spiritual warfare of now. So, try and be cool. Your energy lasts forever. Your body will perish. Let your soul carry on. So carry on with grace, style, and coolness. Sound good? Okay. I'm going to keep you guys posted. Eh, that's what I do. Peace out. And enjoy this Thursday. I know I will.